Hello there, today's video is about the Criterion Collection, specifically about titles that you may wish to avoid buying, that is if you want the best currently available versions of those films. Criterion have built a reputation over the past four decades for being the best people to release these films, give them the best presentations, and for the longest time that was the case. But over the past five or ten years, lots of other labels have entered the market and are doing such great work, and perhaps may even be outpacing Criterion in terms of the quality of their releases. So I have a whole load of discs here on the table to talk about today. Now you don't have to take my word as gospel. You might not be someone who wants to get the highest quality release no matter what. And in that case, feel free to buy whatever you want from Criterion. This video is sort of for the people who are looking to get the absolute best quality version that is currently available. So to kick things off, I have 12 Angry Men, the Criterion Blu-ray, which came out many, many years ago and has since been surpassed by Kino Lorber, who released the film on this 4K disc. The difference in quality between these two presentations is astounding and the 4K disc really does amp everything up. It looks amazing. Not only that, you get a whole host of special features that are not on this Criterion Blu-ray, including William Friedkin's 1990s remake of 12 Angry Men on the included Blu-ray. So if you ask me, do not buy 12 Angry Men from Criterion, get this one instead. Next, it's one of my favourite films from the 1930s, Frank Capra's It Happened One Night, which has also had a 4K upgrade since the release of this older Blu-ray. This one here, which was released as part of Sony's Columbia Classics Volume 3 4K box set, which is a limited box set, but I think it's still available, and if not, people tend to be cracking those box sets and selling the individual films on eBay for a pretty reasonable price except not volume one, of course. Now the Criterion Blu-ray is from a 4K digital restoration. I think these are both from the same source, but when I compare the two, the 4K disc really does so much more work. So in terms of the compression and the contrast of the image, the, you know, the black and white looks so much better on the 4K disc. So I would not get the Criterion, I would get this one. The same goes for Anatomy of a Murder, one of the best courtroom dramas ever made that also had a 4K upgrade in one of the Columbia Classic sets, volume two. I had to get it from Germany, so this is why this one has German text on the front, but the 4K version is just so much better. So it's a no-brainer for me. I would go with the new 4K. Now the Columbia Classics Volume 2 set is long out of print, but you do often find people cracking open the box set and selling the titles individually. This title is nowhere near as popular as Taxi Driver, which I think was the main reason for a lot of people to get that box set. So you can pick this up quite cheaply on eBay if you look out for it. This next one is quite hot off the press because it just got a brand new 4K upgrade recently. It's The Wages of Fear, Henri Georges Clouseau's classic French suspense thriller. Now I don't have the Criterion Blu-ray from about 10 years ago, but I do have the brand new 4K release from BFI. And no word of a lie, this is one of the best presentations in black and white that I have seen on any disc. So this absolutely blows the older presentations out of the water. Even BFI's own Blu-ray from a few years ago, which was from a 4K restoration as well. So at this point, I would say do not buy the much older Criterion Blu-ray of this film. Either get the BFI disc from the UK, which is very cheap compared to Criterion 4Ks, or I would say wait for the likely upgrade from Criterion to 4K on their own disc. Another Blu-ray I would say to avoid at this point is Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. It's a great film, I love it so much. But this did also quite recently get a 4K upgrade from Studio Canal in a few different countries in Europe. And this new 4K disc does look much better to my eye. Now this Blu-ray from Criterion is from a 4K digital restoration. And I would say it's very likely that Criterion are going to upgrade this to 4K very soon. So for that reason alone, whether you get the Studio Canal disc or not, I would hold off on this because the likelihood is within the next year, 
I can see Criterion announcing a 4K of this. Now a great film, but one that I would avoid on the Criterion Blu-ray because there are better versions is Boyhood, the Richard Linklater film. This has a 4K release from Arrow Video. Now the Blu-ray of this looks pretty good anyway, so this might not be one that screams for a 4K upgrade to you, but the Arrow Video Disc is better. I only got the chance to see a check disc of this, so I don't have the actual full release, but I would say if you want the best version, get the Arrow Video, don't get the Criterion. Another one that has an upgrade in one of those big Columbia Classics 4K sets is Punch Drunk Love, the Paul Thomas Anderson film. I don't have my hands on that new Columbia Classics set yet, but from reports I've seen from various other people that I trust, it is a much better improvement on the older presentation from Criterion. So if I was in a position of not owning this film at all, I would wait and get it from that Columbia Classic set. Again, if you don't want the whole big set, just look out on eBay. People are gonna be selling all of these discs separately. A very old disc at this point is Cronenberg's Naked Lunch. This is from 11 years ago, can you believe it? This has a 4K release from Arrow Video, and it also has a 4K release from Turbine Media. I have their media book here, which is absolutely fantastic and the presentation on the Turbine release and the Arrow video is the same. So whether you get this media book from Germany or Arrow video's release of Naked Lunch from the UK, both of those are better than the Criterion. Another one that I have to mention because it just recently got a new 4K disc is Paths of Glory, the Stanley Kubrick brilliant war movie I love it so much, it's a masterpiece. This had a 4K upgrade from Kino Lorber in the United States, but it just got a 4K disc from Eureka Entertainment as part of their Masters of Cinema line. I haven't seen that Kino Lorber disc, but the 4K presentation of the film from Eureka is stunning. It is such a beautiful presentation and far exceeds that very old Criterion Blu-ray from about 10 years ago. So if you're looking at that Pass of Glory disc from Criterion, I would say avoid if you want a good picture quality. Go for this or go for the Kino Lorber 4K. Sticking with Kino Lorber, I've got two here that I'll just do at the same time because why not? So I have The Night of the Hunter, such a great film and Manchurian Candidate, also a very great film. Both of these films would be in my top 100 of all time and to have them in such excellent quality from Kino is just a great thing. Both of these blow the old Criterion discs out of the water so I would say avoid those Criterions, get these discs from Kino Lorber instead. Next I'll quickly talk about Mike Lee's Naked which has this Criterion release from many many years ago. It got not a 4K UHD, but a new Blu-ray from BFI here in the UK, which is from a brand new 4K restoration, which looks so much better. I only saw it theatrically, I don't have the Blu-ray, but I can say that the presentation is so much better and just go and check out reviews for that BFI disc. This disc looks very old in comparison. So I would say if you're region free and you can get that BFI disc, then avoid the Criterion. And then let's quickly talk about Jackie Chan. I'm talking about Police Story 1 and 2, which Criterion released in a box set a couple of years ago. They have 4K releases elsewhere in the world. Particularly, I'm talking about the Eureka Entertainment Trilogy box set, all in 4K, and the presentations are better than those Criterion Blu-rays. And you even get the third film, which does have a 4K disc in the US from 88 films, but you can't get Police Story 1 and 2 on 4K in the US. And these are all region free. So if you can get your hands on this, or I, I think these are available separately from Eureka, then I would definitely say get these discs, don't buy that Jackie Chan box set from Criterion. So as you can see, there are so many other options from elsewhere in the world and still within the United States where you can get better versions of these films compared to the Criterion editions. Now in making this video, I'm by no means slagging off Criterion or anything like that. Obviously, I love Criterion and the Criterion collection, but I also love getting these films in the best quality that I can. So I like to explore all the different options. So if you are like myself and you value getting these excellent presentations, 
then yeah, check out these other versions of these discs. You may wish to get these instead of the Criterions. Want more Criterion recommendations from me, perhaps during a Criterion flash sale? Just click the video that's on screen right now. I'll give you tons of Criterion recommendations for things to explore. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.